Come on, Pebbles. Come on, Pebbles. Get out of my room. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah Good morning. It's um, Saturday morning, October. I don't remember, but um, I'm a little sick. I'm under the weather. I actually went home <clears throat> yesterday from work. Um, I have a sore throat and a little cough. So like phlegm is just keeps settling on my throat. You can probably hear I sound a little different. Um, did the rapid test is negative, no fever, just, I think the instant switch to the coldness, how cold it's been here, um, just kind of threw off, ooh, that bump right there, kind of threw me off, but man, oh man, I'm glad my taste buds are here, because last night's meal, oh my gosh, the quesa, uh, quesa, it was quesa birria tacos, and the Bidia ramen, I don't care anybody say, that truck is better than three other restaurants I've tried for Bidia. It's wrong. Bidia, sorry. I've tried three other restaurants with the Bidia, and this one Bidia truck that my coworker put me on, hands down. Now it's my first time trying the ramen. Oh my, I, I can't, I'm gonna actually put the Instagram right here for this Bidia truck, it's in my town. But I just want you guys to look at their menu. They have the Quesa Bidia. <clears throat> they have Bidia Pizza. Um, that Piros, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But if you like Bidia, I don't know what to tell you. Because this is the business. Anyway, so um, it's 7 a.m. My mom is coming up this Saturday. You got to take care of some business and visit the kiddos. Um... I have a couple errands to run before she gets here, so I'm just gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, wake up and kind of straighten up and get started on that uh, before she gets here because I'm not trying to do too much when she is here. I'm not trying to be that close to her <clears throat> while I'm under the weather. So, um, yeah, let's get this Saturday started. P.S. I was debating on working out, but I don't think you should work out when you're sick. 
but then I heard it's good because it can sweat out. But that's when I heard when you have a fever, you can work out because you'll help sweat out the fever. But I don't have a fever and I don't know if that breathing, because right now when I breathe, it does feel cold. Like my chest and this whole area, it feels cold. So I don't know if working out is a good idea. I'm just gonna have to watch what I eat, which is weird because the groceries I bought is comfort foods. <laughs> so um, I could probably just still eat in moderation, maybe on Monday when I feel better. And I, if I'm going to work, I'm gonna work out. So let's just put it like that. But yeah, I was gonna work out this morning, but I think I'll just wait and let my body actually recover from whatever this is. Yeah. So my son is in there watching The Walking Dead for the first time. And I've never watched it because I don't really like Apocalypse. That doesn't do anything for me. But um, I, I don't understand you Walking Dead fans because first off, they move slow. They don't even run after you. They're just kind of, you know, and you can hear them coming. So how are people getting, I understand that people are evil. They're killing each other, but the zombie part, you can literally walk a fast pace away from them and they can't keep up with you. It's ridiculous. And I'm annoyed with the couple shows that my son has watched because it's like, how do you get bit? How do you get, how do you, how do you even let them get that close when they're literally slow? They don't run like world Z. They were running after you. You had to sprint and die. But and in this walking dead, they literally walk. I might be late on it, whatever, I don't care. This is why I don't watch these shows, but they're walking. You have plenty of time to go grab a snack and run away from them. And they did 10 years of this. I'm just gonna pick an outfit and get ready for my day. Cause I don't like, it doesn't make sense. How do you get 10 years of walking slow from dead people? I don't know what I'm wearing today. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Ooh, look at the doggy. Look at the doggy. <laughs> this, hold on. This is the outfit of the day. It's just some comfortable sweats with my boots. <sighs> I didn't expect anyone to be out here. <laughs> I don't even know if I saw, showed the dog. Okay. Today I'm wearing a new perfume called Killian. I don't like the title. Good Girl Gone Bad. It's nice. It's kind of strong. It reminds me of if I wanted to go out to the club and eat or something. But for this Monday morning, it's it's giving me that energy that I like. I like it. I only got a small little sample, but I like it. I'm pulling up because even though I ordered groceries yesterday, I forgot like six or seven things. So I'm pulling up to get that. And then I'm gonna head on over to vacuum out my car and then go to a different place to wash my car because where they wash my car, I don't like the vacuum there. And where I go to vacuum, I don't like the wash there. So I go to two different places to make it happen. Yeah.
storage unit here. <laughs> I normally do it right after Halloween. My mom is here visiting, talking to my son. So yeah, um, normally right after Halloween, I go ahead and take out my Christmas stuff because I just love the atmosphere that Christmas decorations have, especially in my own house. So I'm gonna just put this together and get the vibes going in my house. Hi, so it's Sunday night. I still have a cough and sore throat. Um, I have to get another rapid test in the morning um, before work just to see where I'm standing. I don't feel bad, it's just the symptoms are there. You can probably hear it in my voice the way I'm talking. <sighs> it's been a long day, literally, because we have that extra hour. It's been a long day. So I just did a little video for November. I am about to put on this mask. It's a relaxing lavender mud mask. Um, Cause I've been breaking out this week, like down here where I've been wearing my mask. <sighs> my throat hurts, so I'm not gonna talk that much. It's it, it sounds like it's gonna get hoarse after a while because it doesn't feel good. And phlegm, coughing and all that. Yeah. <laughs> What just happened? I'm coming out of a hotel Holding a hand that ain't my girl's I did it again, did it again, yeah In a battle between my head and my head You know, I know You always think you would win, think you would win 
what you want. My son had a doctor's appointment about an hour ago. Doctor, I'm tired. My son had a hair appointment to get his hair cut about an hour ago. And the shop where it's located is at the front of the street of residence. There's nothing but residence behind it. So, um, <laughs> with the residence that's been there for um, you know a long time, it's, it's an old part of the city. What I'm saying is the residents there have land, but it's like half an acre of land. Long story short, at the corner where this barbershop is, we're sitting down and we just see this chicken like coming across the corner of the the <laughs> the, the barbershop. Right, anyway, so we're looking at the chicken outside, just walking by around the front door of the barbershop. And then like five minutes later, my kids start laughing and like, look, look, look. And the kissing the chicken down there across the street and it was just such an epic sight <laughs> excuse me because it's literally it was a green light it was good for him to go so he wasn't gonna get ran over it was a truck waiting there at the red light and he 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 actually ran across the freaking street i thought that was so hilarious because it's so random to see a chicken actually cross the street like I tried to get my camera and record it, but I wasn't fast enough. But he ran all across the street, like, like he knew his neighborhood. Seriously, like he knew his neighborhood, and he was just, you know, minding his business, taking his nightly walk. It was, it was so cute. I wish I had a picture. But yeah, I saw. Monday morning, still a little sickly, but not too bad. I'm manageable. But I just have to let you guys see this morning and what the clouds are looking like. Give me a second. Look at the clouds. That looks like a huge gate. Look how pretty that is. It's like a freaking painting. Hello, hello. I am home from work. I am about to go and make some dinner. It's really dark, so it makes you lazy and not want to do anything. <laughs> but I have to remember, it's early. It's actually only 6.30. So I'm about to just pump up some energy from somewhere, throw on some music, and go cook some dinner for me and the babes. And then I want to play my Sega Genesis because I haven't played it in a long time. So I'm trying not to convince. I'm trying to stay away from my bed is what I'm trying to do. So because once I get in my bed, I want to curl up and just go to sleep because it's dark and it's cold. I'm turning on a throat messenger. My bad. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead Get out of my room. Look at him. Come on. Stop sitting there. Come on, Pebbles. Come on, Pebbles. Get out of my room. Okay, 
closing the door. There he is. This is the troublemaker. Okay. So tonight we are making Parmesan chicken with spinach puffs because that's what my kids requested. So that is our first meal for Monday night. Parmesan chicken with spinach puffs. Let's get to it. So now I am about to, oh lord, get that off, but comb my hair down because I can't keep putting it up in a poof like that. So I'm going to braid it down and then I'm actually going to style it in the morning and do something with it because me and my poofs going to break out my hair. I'm not trying and to. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling hair. ways so. and of listening to that Just jackass break. break. Right.
good morning tuesday morning it's a rainy morning drinking my coffee which i have to say is so delicious um i'll put the name of it on the side because i don't think i'm gonna say it right it's called Genevia. i've never saw this brand never tried this brand it comes with an extra packet that makes it frothy you put in a cup before the water comes in with the coffee and i have to say this is probably the best damn curate coffee i've had at home um I don't need to add any sugar or creamer. Let me show you. It's already froth. I did add a little creamer because I wanted it to taste like pumpkin, but aside from that, even if you don't add creamer, it's delicious. I just found my new favorite coffee, so I'm really thrilled about it. It only comes, um, how many in a pack? 12, 12 in a pack, so it's not a lot, but if I stretch it out right, it covers two weeks, which is good enough for me. It's a game changer. I'll show you the box when I go in there. I'm about to go in there and actually make some oatmeal. So I'll show you in a sec. So this is the brand Givaria Frothy Mocha Latte. You first put in uh, the froth packet in the cup and then the coffee. Bomb. I am not going back to anything else. This is amazing. So today's oatmeal is Trader Joe's Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeal. It tastes very hearty. It tastes like regular oatmeal. And I added sausage in mine this morning. I also have apple cinnamon. Whenever I do want to switch it up, I'll cook real apples to put inside of it. But this is my bowl. Like I said, I added too much water, but it's good either way. Look, some of these meals are going to hit and some of these meals are going to miss. But I guarantee this is delicious. I just added too much water and then I cut up my sausage inside. Two thousand years later. Monday night, I just came home and worked out because I did not work out last night or this morning. I'm tired. Um, it's time for a meal. It's about seven fifteen. I'm about to go make some tacos for the kids because he's hungry. Yeah, but um, I I'm not working. I'm not recording working out anymore because I work out in the dark. It's just better for me because I sweat a lot. So. You can't really record in the dark, so, but I got it in. Good Wednesday morning. Um, I woke up with a pounding headache, unfortunately. Um, this always happens like a week before it's my monthly visit. So, but when I'm feeling this, uh, <laughs> I make myself jump out of bed and I eat something and I take my medicine and... I get positive energy flowing and turn on some gospel and do my little morning routine, writing my gratitude and put on extra jewelry today, actually comb my hair instead of just putting it in a prop. Like I just take the extra steps to make myself feel better. Obviously these things and looking cute <laughs> makes me feel a little better. So my headache is kind of going away. My face is shiny because I just moisturized, but um, hopefully it doesn't come back. I know they will, so I'm gonna take more medicine later. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get this hump day started. Um, I haven't been wearing any makeup because I honestly just been running out of time. I will lose some way. I probably actually I'm supposed to be going out tonight. So I am doing a get ready with me. You guys get to watch me get ready for my little date. So yay. I'll catch you guys after work. Wednesday night, um, date night's canceled. Oh my God. I'm sitting in bed with my kiddos, watching random things. With pebbles, funny. And um, I don't have anything else to do, though, or anything that I want to do, because I just have some rice and beans, <laughs> some comfort food from the kid's grandma. And I'm just chilling in bed, so. I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.